Good morning. Welcome back. I'm Elliot, and we are here at the Hots Honors Hall where we're doing our UARC Home Live Tour. Um, this I'm going to show them the little sign here. It's a very nice right sign. Right here, right, right here. There. Yes. Um, this is actually my home away from home. This is the first place I ever lived at University of Arkansas, so this is very special to me. Uh, you said it here your freshman year. I did, I did. Right on. What floor? I lived on the seventh floor. Seventh floor. Okay, okay. And what did you study? I am an honors finance major. Right on. Okay. So you have inside scoop, inside knowledge about living in HOTS. The ins and outs. Excellent. Well, um, how many students? There are about a, 420 students here. Okay, okay. And it's a pretty tall building. Mm -hmm. I think it's like nine floors. Nine floors. Yeah. What are we seeing if we look, if like we're right in the front right now of HOTS. Right. What are some of the things that we're seeing as we kind of go around here? From well, the front? behind me, there's uh -huh. Maple Hill. So the Maple Hill East, South, and West. Um, which is also housing the Club Red, which we have, so that's where you can go and buy stuff using your Flex, um, which is really handy, especially during finals time. Right. Um, we're also standing, it's catty corner to uh, the Quad C building, and so the Quads also hold the Roberta Fulbright Dining Hall. So oh, yeah, okay. right over there in Quad B. Is that where you go through? Is that where yes, you poke through right there? Okay. Yeah, so right through there, about a minute walk, and you're right at the dining hall. Did you eat there a lot? Oh, all the time. And the desserts there are to die for. Yes. And then I'm looking at parking here. Looks yeah. like there's a lot of parking. There is. And so this is one of the two lots that you can park in. This is called the quad lot. Huh? Um, and then the Maple East and Hot Slot, I don't know actual numbers. But um, we have <laughs> another larger lot on the other side as well. So plenty of resident reserve parking. Nice. Always good to have. Although, did you have a car your first year or not? I did. I had a green pass, and uh -huh. I had to walk two blocks that way, uh, in the ice, uphill both ways. Um, but I would say resident reserve is the best, especially because you're right outside. So I learned the hard way. So you would recommend bringing a car or not bring a car? I would say bring a car. Yeah. You can walk anywhere on campus. Um, have a bike, definitely. Um, we have actually a bike house on the other side. It's the largest bike house on campus, and it's really nice. Um, but just if you need to go somewhere, want to go someplace with your friends, like Waffle House or something like that, you need, need wheels to get there. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so we have seven people watching us right now, and I'll just say hello to everyone. You can wave to them, too, if you want to. Hey. Um, and if anybody has any questions, feel free to chime in and we'll get them answered as best we can. Um, we do have some representatives from Honors College here as well to answer that side of questions. We're basically going to be talking about, you know, your room and um, the different facilities in here. Do you want to head inside? I'd love to. I'm ready to head inside too. All right. Can't wool. Fob us in. Thank you very much, Ken. So. The Fob system, just in case you're new to the university, can you tell us about the Fob system? So the way it works, each building has electromagnetic lock systems on it, and what will happen is you get a key and a fob when mm -hmm. you check in, and what you'll do is, all you do is you hold the fob next to the, the little uh, fob reader, it'll beep at you, and it'll electromagnet electromagnetically unlock the, uh, the door so you get in. So only people from HOTS can get into HOTS. Okay, yeah, that's always a very good security feature. Now let me mention that we're transitioning from conference services to the academic school year, so you're seeing a lot of towels right now and things. It'll all be put away by the time you come in August. Right. And so, yeah, where are we now? So this is the kitchenette. Okay. This is one of my favorite places in HOTS. Sure. Um, the kitchenette, you have a uh, microwave oven that you can use. You have a fridge, all this stuff. I highly recommend putting your name on everything that you put in the fridge because... Mm -hmm. This is where people would steal my ice cream all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but this is one of the best places also just to hang out. Um, you have ping pong and pool right over here, which is people will play till the wee hours of the morning every single night. Sure. Um, but this is one of the best places, especially for social gatherings, just getting to hang out and whatnot. You bet, you bet. Let me go ahead and give them a kind of a view of the kitchen here. So if you want to cook your own meals, this is the place to come. And plenty of cabinet space right there in the refrigerator. Should we go in the refrigerator? Let's like see if there's anything in there. Oh, it's empty right now. Okay, yeah, except for some water bottles. All right. Let's keep moving on. We've got a question that came in from Melissa. Um, when you look at the rooms, is there any way you can go into... We can go this way. All right. When you look at the rooms, is there any way you can go into a room that has a part of the room taken out by, like, a closet in the hallway? For example, she's in room, in a third floor room. Yeah, let's see if we can... Such as... I think my room was like that. Really? Okay, so it's like a little bit different design. We'll mm -hmm. see if we can. We'll see if we can. So now we're going into the theater room. One of my favorite places. Yeah? 
Let me come on in here and take a look around. So it's got theater seating, a couple of really nice chairs, and a couple of like huge bean bags that are really comfy. Were you on those bean bags? Have you been on those bean bags? Oh, many a time. Let me check out that bean bag. I think the brand is called like Fat Boy or something. So. Yeah. There you go. Nice bean bag. Have you ever slept on that bean bag? I have actually. You have? A couple of times. <laughs> Not ashamed to say it either. Not ashamed to say. I think it's an 80 inch right yes. there. What are some movies you've watched in here? Well, so one of my best friends, Hannah, and I would stay up until three or four or five in the morning every single night for about two months straight, and we watched Grease, Valentine's Day, and New Year's Eve, and all sorts of movies like that um, till the wee hours of the morning. So I've seen just about every movie you can possibly think of in this room. Grease 1, Grease 2, and Grease 3? Yes, sir. Wow. The Grease 2, is he's from Australia, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Or something? Okay. We go with the original, though. Yeah. Can't beat the best. Sandy and John Travolta? Uh -huh. That's the way to go. All right, so let's keep moving on. There's a lot of details here in the first floor of, of Hots Hall. Mm -hmm. And all these spaces, I guess, are very familiar to you. From back in the day. From back in the day. So we were going to head into the music room. All right. So one of the nice things, a lot of the students that we have here are also a part of the marching band. And mm -hmm. so in order to incorporate them into our, our, uh, our population here, we've put in a nearly soundproof music room. Uh, I say nearly sound soundproof just because at 3 in the morning we hear one of them playing the trumpet every day. Mm -hmm. But um, fun place. We come in here and we play on the piano. We, do, we get our guitars and stuff and have little concerts. It was all sorts of fun. What do you play? I do not. Well, I mean, okay. The electric triangle, but, you know, cowbell? aside from Can that. Can you do a cowbell? I could. I keep rhythm <laughs> very well. You keep rhythm very well. I'm glad to know that. Okay. But, yeah, music room for those of you who are in the band. Right, right. And otherwise. Okay. So now where are we going? So this is called the letter room. Usually there are tons of tables and chairs set up out here. For This is one of the best places to study. Yeah. I see a lot of people doing a lot of group projects. So if you're in, like, um, H2P, your first year, um, some of the projects you do, they'll be here all day doing projects. Um, but we have the letters from uh, the first couple of years. That, that actually, I think my I guess that's why there. it's called the letter room, right? right? Yeah, and we've got someone here as well from Honors College. If we could, we'll say hello to you. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Doing well. How about you? Just <laughs> fine. Uh, what's your name? My name is Terrence Boyd. I'm the Associate Director of Recruitment with the Honors College. Fantastic. And, and what are some of the things that you, you do on a day-to-day -day basis? On a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> or is it always, every day is different? Right, every day is different, but I would say on a day-to-day -day basis, I meet with prospective students who are really interested in the Honors College. Oh, yes. So you might have met some of the people who are watching right now who mm -hmm. are part of the UARC 20 right. class, I'm thinking. I, I, I bet I met with a bunch of you all already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. I was actually taking a look at some of the letters and looking at some of the students that I recruited. Mm -hmm. Like Brian Magani, Courtney Wilson, Ooh, we're Janet Wagner. We're having shout outs. Who is this? Right. Oh, this is Brian Magani. He's a student. He's in my office like almost every day. Oh, yeah? Okay. Uh, the Courtney Wilsons, the Janet Wagners. And so mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing I do. I try to meet with students and really connect with them. So once they come live in HOTS, we keep that connection going. Okay. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Um, when would the incoming class who are who are coming in right now, they would meet with you when, or would they be meeting with you directly, or how would they work? They typically meet, so any incoming freshman or a rising junior or senior in high school, mm -hmm. they can come do a visit here at the U of A. Okay. And when they visit with the U of A, they can elect to meet with the Honors College. They have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me or someone from my team, and we just talk to them about what are the advantages of joining the Honors College. How can you get engaged at the U of A as well as taking advantage of the Honors Education? Mm -hmm. They can always come to Honors Convocation as well. That's always a fun event. What's the best part of being, being a, a, a part of uh, the Honors College? If you had to break it down for if me. If I had to break it down, I think the study abroad is maybe the best piece. Okay. Uh, I've studied abroad. Elliot, he studied abroad. About 50% of honor students study abroad at least once uh, by the time of graduation. Where did you study abroad? I studied abroad in Madrid, Spain. First oh, time okay. on a plane was when I went to Madrid. Oh, and wow. And then the following summer, I went to Nampula, Mozambique. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. And where did you right. where did you study abroad? <laughs> I went to Mozambique as well, what? but I believe two years later. Two Mozambican Two trips? Mozambican, yes. Mozambique Mozambique trips? Mozambican. Okay, it's yeah, like, wow. Time. That's super cool. Okay. It was fun. Great. Well, um, anything else you want to tell us about, like, the academic requirements or anything like that? Yes, yeah, so to join the Honors College, we require students to have two things, the GPA and the test score. If a student has a 3.5 GPA and they're interested in any of the academic colleges, 
aside from Walton College of Business, that is one of the requirements. It'll say if they are interested in business, it's a 3.75. Okay. The uh, test score requirement is a 28 composite on the ACT. If they've taken the SAT, the new one, so March 16 to present date, they need a 1310, looking at evidence-based writing and reading and the math piece. Fantastic. Well, uh, we're going to continue to walk around the residence hall. Would you mind joining us just in case any more questions come in? Yes, of course. That'd be awesome. Thank you. So that was the letter room, right? Letter room. And you spent a lot of time in the letter room. I did, I did. Good deal. All right. This is where I spend a lot of my time. So normally there's all sorts of chairs and couches set up. Like we said, we're transitioning from conference services during the summer. Which you're working for us for conference services, right? Right. right. Awesome. Um, but one of the best things that we had was these chairs and stuff, we'd stay out here. We were called the lobby dwellers our freshman year, and we'd stay here, I mean, all night long. Not the lounge lizards, but the lobby Not dwellers? Not the lounge lizards, okay. the lobby dwellers. Yes, okay, so okay. Spent a lot of time out here then. All the time. Gotcha. So we had good times. Um, one of the nice things is it was right next to the vending machines right over here. Mm -hmm. um, we'd come get some snacks late night, and then any sort of, if you need vending machines or anything like that, they're right here, right in the lobby, which was very nice but we spent way too much time here. Right. We had a question that came in, which we'll go ahead and answer from Connie. She's having a little trouble getting into the live event, but asked, um, can we use command hooks? And the answer is yes. You may. We recommend use command hooks. Are mirrors included in the wardrobes? Yes. I believe so. Would we go up a look at that? Mm -hmm. And um, then there's several other questions, which we'll get to when we get upstairs. Right. She's got a... a, a a large number of them, we appreciate those questions coming in. We want to show off the uh, deck area? We certainly may. Yeah. So this is the outside patio area. Mm -hmm. um, it's got some outdoor furniture, which is very nice. Um, it's just cool because some very pretty fall days or spring days, you can come out here with your friends, get some nice fresh air, get to chill. Um, it's just a nice little area that you get to hang out on. You bet. And I understand that you have some programming that happens here? Right. So one of the great things about being in HOTS, you get the community aspect of living in HOTS, but you also get a little bit of the academic side. So one of the programs that we do here... I wonder if that door will talk to us if we leave it open. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, there we go. So one of the programs that we do is Professor and Pizza on the Patio. So on a monthly basis... Pizza? Yes. Nice. Anything that we do here in HOTS, we feed. Okay. Uh, so you all saw Fulbright Dining Hall. You saw Hill Grill. You were never more than 300 feet away from food. That is like a deal breaker when choosing your residence hall. Uh, but P3 is what we call it for short. We invite professors, faculty, staff, or even graduate students from around campus to talk about how can you get engaged with research or those service learning pieces. And so we host it here. The first one we had last academic year, we had over 100 students. And so wow. they were packed on this patio, spilling over into the courtyard area. It was amazing. What was the topic? The topic so what are was, some of the topics? Uh, that topic particularly was uh, about the Mozambique study here, Brian Tripp. Ah, okay. So we like Mozambique. Um, the very first one they had, they actually used the, uh, the theater room. They mm -hmm. watched the episode of Dancing with the Stars to talk about how ballroom dancing, other types of um, dance play into the American culture. They watched it in there, then came out to the patio area to eat pizza and totally discuss that piece. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. I had a request to show more of the entire space. So okay. let me just kind of do a 360 here. So people can get a sense of what we're looking at. Okay. So let's head in back inside. You want to head in over that, that side or does it matter? It doesn't matter. There's two entrances for this place. Okay. Thanks, Griffin. Yeah, we'll try to show more of the actual facility as well. So there's a fireplace, too, to be aware of. Very handy in the wintertime. And so then you walk in here. So over here to my left is the uh, front desk area. Um, there will be somebody here from 4 p.m. till midnight every night. So if you, have any, if you want to check out any games, pool, ping pong, whatever you need, um, one of the RAs will be stationed there. Um, Another nice thing that we have is called the RA on duty. So if you somehow get locked out of your room, which is something also you need to know, the doors here lock behind you. I locked myself out uh, going to the bathroom to shower one time. So the walk of shame is a thing. Um, <laughs> but if you need to get let in or something like that, there's a person you can call um, from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. every day, and they will let you into the room or anything else you might need. But so sometimes people do get locked out. All the time. Okay. I am one of those people. Here's the place to come, front desk right, right. there. Okay. Right. Unless you're in your towel, then call somebody or call a friend. <laughs>
All right, let's keep moving down, showing the first floor. So over here, we have what we call the fishbowl. Um, uh -huh. This is literally the best study place on campus. I know a lot of uh, forever, excuse me, freshmen um, that I've talked to, and they actually want to come in here and study because um, typically it's a pretty quiet place unless I'm in there, but um, they'll come in here. A lot of people, up to I think 20 people can come in here, complete with chargers built into the table and whatnot. Um, great place to work on papers, projects with other people, even just random homework. But this is the best place to study with on campus. Sure. So, had a request to speak a little louder okay. for both of us. Yeah. So this is called the fishbowl. The fishbowl. Let's head in and look at the fishbowl. The one and only, complete with large HDTV, and it's really cool because you can actually project um, whatever you're working with on a computer onto that thing. So if you've got some sort of a project or um, presentation you need to work on. That's the place to be in this in the building. Fantastic. Well, let's keep moving around, seeing this first floor of HOTS. So this is another common area, and I don't... What is the actual name for it, Mr. Terrence? Uh, it is the Tessellation Gaming Room. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Tessellation Gaming Room. Mm -hmm. And so this is one another place we used to watch uh, Razorback basketball games, football games if, if it was too cold. We'd have about 40 people just chilling right here, um, having a good time. But this is one of the nice places. The human chairs are also one of the things that we love to point out, um, just because of these are like iconic here at HOTS. Whoa, that's like legs and... And everything. Wow. Ergonomic design. Um, had some questions come in. Uh, Ibis asked, is there a printer available in the first floor? There is right now, but the best place to do it is in the quad. They have an entire computer lab set up. Um, complete with printer. All you have to do, so you'll have a freshman uh, kind of fee, and it includes all of your printing for the year, and so you can go and print however much you need. And we've had uh, Faith. Thank you very much. Faith Yam is the... She's the graduate assistant for HOTS programming. Graduate assistant for uh, HOTS programming, who has chimed in, is helping us answer questions as well. Thank right. you very much, Faith. Um, Alyssa asks, um, for the fishbowl, are there more computers usually on the desks? No, you'll have to provide your own laptops. Okay. There is one desktop right now, um, and so they'll be able to use it, but pretty much you bring your own laptop. Gotcha. And um, something I want to show off as well is this uh, Arkansas map slash geometric form. Who, do you have any details about this? So about how this was painted or how it was made? I'll chime in on this one. Sure. This is our tessellation design. You see a bunch of the Razorbacks are fitting together to make the state of Arkansas. Uh, the first group of students to live here in 2013 wanted a chance to put, make their mark on HOTS. And so this took about seven hours and maybe about 50 or more students really participated. They came in, did the initial outline, bolded the print. And so this has been here since 2013. Mm -hmm. um, the brainchild of a local math professor and an artist. They came up with the design and the students executed it. Very good. We've had a comment from Oscar about speaking more clearly. We'll try to do that as we can. Um, Oscar, let us know if you're having problems uh, listening, and we'll try to make sure we, we address that. So what else do we want to see? Well, right behind us over here, there's another study lounge. It's a little more private and secluded. Mm -hmm. And so it's got a nice whiteboard wall over here, which is great for any sort of, if you got to sketch out any physics problems. I saw a lot of that, or calculus. Um, people would come in here. It's nice and quiet. It's nearly soundproof like the, uh, the music room, but nice chill area where you can just work on problems and write everything out and get a big picture of things. Well, that looks like wallpaper, but it's actually wallpaper you can mark on. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Thanks and it erases away. Mm -hmm. Very neat. Very neat. Now, the tables that would normally be in here are actually being used for right. laundry purposes at the moment, but right. there's usually furniture in here. One of the other really nice things about the HOTS Honors Hall is it's one of the only dorms that has a built-in workout facility in it. So I believe it and Reed, yep. you can talk. Um, it would be Reed and, yeah, as you said, Reed and HOTS both have a workout facility. And here's uh, Faith's office. We'll just point that out. Thanks again, Faith, for helping us. So right in here. And so right now they're in the big middle of renovating and adding things. So we're always trying to improve our, uh, our honors facility, but complete with all sorts of uh, treadmills, step climbers, whatever you might need. Um, a couple of free weights if you're trying to gain some muscle. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and it looks like there's a lot of new stuff coming in right there. So has this changed from the first year when you were here? Actually, they've added a lot of stuff. So it, I'm actually pretty jealous that I'm not back here in the big middle of this. So. Um, it was asked, are the study rooms available to be reserved or are they first come, first serve? It's usually first come, first serve. So that means like if one of the residents is already there, you can ask to join them um, so long as you're quiet, respectful of others, stuff like that. Fantastic. All right. So where are we going next on the first floor here? So now we're going to take a little bit of a trip down one of the hallways. We're going to show you the laundry room. Sure. Now, did we talk about mail, where they, how they can get their mail? We will touch that. So Fantastic. with mail, um, mm -hmm. it's not done here at HOTS. The way it's working this year is we're transferring all of HOTS's mail to Maple South, which is right next door. Um, one of our administrative specialists, Mr. Jahong, is actually going to do all of the mail processing. So if you get, let's say you get a package or something like that, he will send you an email, you'll run over to Maple South, he'll give you the key or the package, and uh, you'll be able to grab it. Fantastic. So just, um, I don't know, 100 feet away over Maple Not Hill. Even. Not even that far. Not even. Okay, let's go look at the laundry. All right. That's a big part of what has to get done. <laughs> Any other questions as they come in? I know I might have missed a few of them up at the top, and if so, I apologize. I'll say that... Um, uh, Connie, we'll try to get to your questions as we can when we get up into the room. All right, so here is the laundry room, and it's a, they're, we're actually working right now, so if you can't hear me, just tell me to speak up. I will bet any money that you want that this is the best laundry room on campus. I mean, you have, and it's really nice because you really don't have to worry about people stealing your stuff or moving it because there's so many washers and dryers available, um, but this is where you can come do all sorts of schoolwork as you wait for your laundry, which is very nice, that white noise in the background, mm -hmm. um, complete with a wash basin, folding tables, all sorts of stuff, your own personal cubbies if you don't come just in time. Um, but it's a really nice setup, and so it's actually really cool. They've done, they partnered with a new company, and we've got- Let's step outside so they can hear us a little bit better. All right. You wanna tell us about Laundry Alert? I am. <laughs> so <laughs> the way it works is they've actually partnered with the new company, and we've gotten brand new washers and dryers and a whole new system, and the way you can do it is each one has a QR code on the washer or dryer. You can scan it with your phone and it'll take you to their website and it'll show you um, what washers and dryers are available at what time if somebody's using it versus if it's open. And also you can set notifications to tell you like, hey, your laundry's done, come down or switch or whatever you need to do. So that is very helpful. And also um, all of your laundry is covered under your room fees. Right. So no need to bring quarters. It's all for free, that. which is very nice. Um, Susan has a question about mail. Okay. She says, do we still send mail to the HOTS um, address? I believe so. And it will be processed at the Union and go to Maple South. If not, the Maple South website is on our website, or on the website housing.uark.edu. Let me verify with that and come back in the thread and answer your question, Susan. I want to be sure I'm accurate for you. Do we want to go anything else up here on this I floor? I think this is about it, and we can go up and actually look at some rooms now. Going up to the ninth floor. All right, All right I'll follow house. you along. Here we go. If you, we're going to see Miss Charlotte. Miss Charlotte is the head ISA here. Miss Charlotte runs a tight Hello. ship. Hi. Hello. And so she will do all, she makes sure this place is nice and clean. Um, she got on to me a couple of times freshman year, but it's because she loves <laughs> this building so much. <laughs> and how long have you been here? Well, I've been at the university for nine years, mm -hmm. and uh, during the summer, I usually do the laundry. Um, in this building alone, there's, um, if the capacity is full, it's over 4,000 pieces of laundry. Yes, wow. it takes uh, a good three weeks to get it all done, because if we have uh, camps that come mm -hmm. and they want the linen supplied, it's everything from washcloths clear up to the blankets. Gotcha. Yeah, and we usually do those for students that request it, that's going to be here like a week or longer. Okay, yeah, yeah. great. And then you'll be meeting the students who are coming in in the fall. Oh, absolutely. They're I'm great. excited to meet them. A face to know. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. All right. All right. So right down here, we have two elevators set up right across from the front desk area. And so we'll take a nice Here we look. are. Oh, and there's digital kiosks here, so that's an important thing to know. We have two halls that use mostly digital kiosks and uh, or digital signage. So we put up flyers there. It's actually the content, the things we put up there come from Honors College and from Housing Vote. Mm -hmm. It's a great partnership between our two organizations. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so you push the floor, and we're going up. To the penthouse. To the penthouse, ninth floor. Arguably the best view on campus. It was a blast. This is where I spent a lot of my time freshman year. And so you lived on 7, but you were on 9 a lot? Is that I right? was. I was indeed. Why were you on 9 so much? Uh, there was a girl that I fancied, oh, and okay. who is now my girlfriend, actually. And so <laughs> she uh, she's put up with me now for a while, but she lived on the ninth floor, so I practically lived on the ninth floor. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. So now we're on one of the HOTS floors, which they're all going to be the same, right? Right. And so the way it works, the gender breakdown is it's usually alternating. So like the second floor is guys, third floor will be girls all the way up. Um, and so it's girls only on one floor, guys only on the other floor. Um, you'll have two separate, and these are the best common bathrooms on campus. It's really not even a, it's a private public bathroom is what we call it. Um, and so we'll show you those in a second, but sure. it's very nice. We also do a lot of sustainability programs, and so we do a lot of recycling. Um, and I think HOTS has won a lot of the uh, sustainability awards and Recycle Mania awards and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. We're trying to give back to our, our earth as well, um, and not only as our students, but... Is there an example of a water bottle thing on the floor, or are they down on the, are they down on the first floor? They should the water be down bottles? Here. So on are they each here? floor... Um, we got a new setup where they actually can fill your water bottles. It's like a souped up water fountain. Sure. Um, we'll show you those in a second. Right here we have one of our two common areas on the floor. Um, great for any sort of hanging out late night. Um, people would be playing Super Smash Bros. till all night, all times of the morning. Um, Which character do you like to play on Super Smash Bros? I... I'm not too good. I like Pikachu a <laughs> okay. lot, but okay. I'm not too good. I would be the first to admit that. Gotcha. But you have a television here, common meeting area, and I guess the opposite side, there's even more space over here. Right. With one of the best views on campus. That is a great view. You can practically watch the football games from inside of Hots. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Do you want to see... This should be the room that has the... Uh... Let's go into the room last, okay. and let's do a bathroom. All right. And then the water fountain that you mentioned. So this is the water fountain we mentioned earlier. So it's the normal water fountain that functions normally, but also one of the cool things is you can put your water bottle up right here, and so it'll actually fill your water bottle for you rather than have to wait there for a couple minutes. And we strongly encourage you to use this. It also gives a little count of how many bottles you've saved. Mm -hmm. How many... Um, yeah. It's really cool. Trying to save the earth one, one bottle at a time. So what I was saying earlier about the private public bathrooms is, so it's a common bathroom technically because it has common sink area complete with uh, wind or mirrors that you can look into. But the cool thing is you can actually close all of these doors so they're different setups. This bathroom right here mm -hmm. is a toilet and a shower. Okay. And you can actually lock this door and have like... Specifically requested that the sinks be public mm -hmm. because that's a very common place to interact uh, socially with folks in the morning. Um, so that was one of the things that the architects actually designed into the building. And as uh, Elliot mentioned before, it's called a public-private bathroom. Public-private bathroom. Let me dip in real quick. I'm having a little bit of a connection issue, so I don't want to stay in too deep, but I do want to give you an example of the bathrooms. Great, and there's this area right here. Fantastic, okay. All right, and everything. Well, uh, we had a question from Alyssa. She asked, how soundproof are the rooms? Ever have any problem with loud people in the lobby? Not terribly. Um, and the nice thing is, uh, none of the rooms are too terribly far from a resident assistant room, and so if there are people, loud people being loud, sorry about that, people mm -hmm. being loud, then you can just ask the RA, or you yourself can self-advocate and ask them to be quiet, but it's really not too bad of a problem. And during finals, of course, we have quiet hours mm -hmm. all the way through, so right. it's a requirement that people are quiet during that time. Right. Does um, Honors have any special quiet hours or anything like that, or is it just right with the rest of the campus? They actually, so the entire week of finals week, typically what happens is it'll be quiet hours for certain night or for certain hours in other dorms, but here the uh, Honors, like it has to be quiet hours, 24 hours on the halls at all times. So that's really nice, especially if like the fishbowl is taken and stuff like that. Um, you can have nice quiet time up here um, in your own personal room or out in the common area. Great. Is there anything else we want to see on the floor before we go into one of the rooms? I think that's... Let's uh, see. What's that? 
Right. Yeah. So the study room, and these are one of the coolest rooms on campus. So the way it works is each hall or each floor has two end rooms. And so one of the end rooms is actually a study room. And like we saw in the private study room downstairs in the, in the lobby, this one has a complete wall full of whiteboards. So you can come in, you can have all sorts of this stuff. This is the other lounge, too. I'll just point that out. There's another lounge. Right. So everything's pretty much double. It's the same thing, just split in half. And so this study room down here, you, there are white walls everywhere. If you have expo markers, you can do all sorts of problems on the board or whatever you need to do. Right. So this is an example of the study room right. on the each hall. Hey, stay up there. Welcome to HOTS. Very nice, very nice. So I've walked in, I've seen anywhere from Cal 3 homework to um, humanities projects where they have to write out all sorts of poems or whatever. I mean, the entire walls are just filled to the brim. Great ideas of the future right up there, huh? That's right. Okay. Yeah, and have you, did you use this room a lot for just studying or other things? Uh, a couple of other things. Uh, we hung out a lot here. Uh, my, my girlfriend actually lived in the room right next to us, and so we, uh, we studied in here. We also had a couple of dance parties in here, whatever you needed. You know, study breaks with that Dance matters. party. Nice. So, all sorts of fun stuff. You got, you got some good moves? Uh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> okay. And she well, wouldn't either. Gotcha, okay. Well, let's go ahead and I guess look at one of the rooms now. Oh. Um, there was a request to show off a room that had a slightly different configuration. We'll see if we can't get that. We'll make that happen. But this would be... Do um, Katrina asks about, should we bring our own whiteboard markers to the study rooms? That, they are provided, um, but sometimes people will take them back to their room. I'd say bring your own, because it's just you can take them back and forth as you need. Yeah, you'll probably get the ones you exactly want if you bring right. your own. So we're in room 925 mm -hmm. here in HOTS on the ninth floor. So this is a standard room. Uh, this is called a double, and so two beds, two beds. Here. There's a lot of light backlighting. I gotcha. Okay. So two of everything in here. Um, you'll have each a mattress and a bed frame, um, a set of drawers, which are very spacious. They're very nice. Um, so these all pull out. You'll have your nightstand right here, uh, complete with the drawer and a little bit of cubby hole. And then this actually right here is a desk. And one of the cool things is all of these mm -hmm. beds are loftable, so you don't have to keep it this height. If you're a daredevil like we were freshman year, you can loft it all the way to the top and keep your desk and that stuff under there, or you can move it around how you see fit. So all of this furniture in here is movable. As far as the lofting goes, um, you know, you're welcome to bring your own rubber mallet and get it up, or you can ask housing to uh, loft it for you. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there is a safety bar available if you'd like that too. So if you do go really high, we can put a little bar across if you need it. So let's see, let me give a full view of the room here. And you go ahead and give them a view. Wow. Nice view. Yeah. And then right here. So we'll check out this, uh, the armoire. So each person also gets an armoire. Let's see. It does have a built-in mirror. Mm -hmm. So plenty of space. Um, for you to hang clothes up and whatnot, you'll have a nice mirror. You can check yourself out in the morning, see if you're ready to go to class. Um, and the other nice thing is all of the hot rooms have their own personal uh, uh, thermostat in mm -hmm. built into the rooms. And so if you like it cold in your room and your neighbor doesn't like that... Where is the thermostat? So, so the room? thermostat should be right behind you, or it's behind this door. Let's see. It's back here. Let's see. If we can Let's go ahead and give it a go. So thermostat is tucked away right up here. Okay. So, so you can change it right there. Adjust it how you see fit. Uh huh. So we can go up or down however much we need. And then there's a towel rack right there as well. Right. So um, had a couple questions come in. Uh, Emily Jordan asks. Uh, Emily asks, can you show a corner room? I think we have a corner room there. We can show. Yeah, okay. we can show that. Um, is there a locking drawer in one of the cabinets? Yes, and so the way it works, the nightstand that I showed you, mm -hmm. um, we'll show it real quick. Right here, if you so desire, um, all you have to do is just put a little master lock right here. Otherwise, okay. you can just slide it in and out, but there is a locking mechanism. Gotcha. And then Alyssa asks, how high can you loft it? How much space is underneath for, such, for a desk and such? I think the maximum lofting is, what is it, 71 maybe? Yeah, we can check Somewhere real right quick. Right yeah. um, it's about my shoulder height, which probably doesn't help too much. Let's see real quick. 
So this is about 60 inches, mm -hmm. and so I think the mattress is about 7 inches more than that, so about 70 inches is the highest you can possibly go. Right, okay. Let's see then. Let's go ahead and check out, um, let's see if there's some other questions. I know right. some of the questions came in earlier. Do you have a... Um, Alyssa asked earlier, when you look at the room, is there any way you can go into a room that has a part of the room taken out mm -hmm. by like a closet in the hallway? Kent, were we able to find a room like that? All the 13 should have that, and I think 19 should have that. We'll, we'll check okay, it out. Okay, okay. And then uh, some other questions that came in about command hooks, mirrors. What is the width of one of the closet rods in the wardrobe? One of the closet rods. Let's check this one real quick. So the Here you rod. Go, Connie will answer those questions for you. So the rod itself seems to be 17 inches, 16 and a half inches. Okay, 17, 16 and a half inches. Um, what is the size of the lockable drawer? Well, laptop fit. So we're talking about probably a 13 or 15 or 17 inch laptop. It looks to also be 16 inches and it's plenty deep so you can store whatever you need to in there. Can you give it the, the other dimension too? Yes. So you've got width, but then I guess length there. Uh, about 20, 21 inches. 21 inches. So yeah, a laptop would fit in there just no problem at all. Um, where are the electrical outlets? So they're actually behind, so the way it's set mm -hmm. up, it's against this wall. Um, okay. And so it's perfect, so if you were to keep your desk under your bed like I did freshman year, um, there's an outlet right back behind the desk. Okay, okay. Do we know how many there are? Not off the top of my head. There are more scattered around the room um, in the, uh, on the other walls, but I think they're covered up by furniture right now. I think there were three, if I remember correctly. Okay. Um, where is the cable for TV located? We have a new service with Cox. Mm -hmm. It's digital now, mm -hmm. and that includes three HBOs. I'm not sure where the box is right here. Do you? It's see hiding right now, but each room does have a, a cable outlet. Um, I think it's also against the wall, but kind of covered up right now. It's here. It is behind. It's probably behind the wall. Um, do you need a coax cable? There is a small one that comes off. I want to say it's probably about three feet, maybe. Mm -hmm. I would recommend that you brought your own to make sure that you have the length that you need. Right. Um, let's see what else. Um, would a five by eight um, rug fit in this room? Yes. I think so. You just it would have to go under some of the furniture potentially, but it fit. We had one freshman year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, no worries, Susan. Glad we could answer that for you. Um, are extension cords allowed, Alyssa? Yes, they are. They need to be um, compliant with sort of the safety standards, but yeah, we, we encourage you to use extension cords. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, corner room. Perfect, perfect. So we're in 924 now. So the nice thing about the corner rooms is they are a little bit bigger. This is where my girlfriend lived freshman year. Um, so a little bit more spacious. This is literally the room that your girlfriend... This is literally the room. The, okay. the room. Gotcha. <laughs> But it's nice. It's a little bit more spacious. You got a little more room. Um, they had a bookcase and whatnot. Yeah. Back against this wall. These are not white barred walls. Don't be fooled. Okay, you can't, you can't write on those walls. No, only some of them, not these. Okay. So this would be a corner room, which would be not, not as typical, but right. certainly a configuration that's offered. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Let's see. Well, we're happy to take any more questions that come in. Um, for either us to talk about the facilities or about even um, some of the academic issues if you need to ask those. Mm -hmm. Ask a veteran who survived freshman year. Right, we have a real live honor student here By the skin to of talk team. about it. Um, <laughs> Was it we, tough? It really, it wasn't that bad. One of the biggest suggestions that I will give you, I'll give any student honors or not honors, is the biggest thing is I want you to have a social life. I'm one of the resident assistants in Maple Hill East next year. Um, we want kids to have a social life and make friends and have these great memories. But the real reason why you are here is to further your future and get that degree. And so the best thing you can do freshman year is try to keep as high of a GPA. Um, because the way it works out is if you keep that high GPA, it's easier to sink down a little bit more as you get more credit hours. It doesn't fluctuate as much. It's hard like you did what I did, where I started out with a 3-4-4 after my first semester, 
I got back into honors, but it's harder to work your way back up than to just step down a little bit. I see a lot of nodding over yes. here. <laughs> I completely agree. I tell okay. students all the time, start high, give yourself a little wiggle room if necessary. Um, trying to get your GPA back up in college, it's like trying to rock climb upside down, to mm. be honest. Uh, fun fact about HOTS, we have the highest GPA of all residence halls. Um, because students in the Honors College have to maintain a 3.5, but even outside of that, because of the study spaces, because of knowing the healthy balance between the social life and academic life, students know how to be, be engaged while also keeping academics first. Gotcha. Um, thank you. A couple more questions. Uh, Ibis asks, uh, where do students normally set up their TVs? Where'd your girlfriend set up her TV in here? She actually, she was kind of dare, a daredevil. She put it on top of her um, her armoire here. That's what we did in my room. That was very nice. Especially if you have a corner room, this area right here is very nice if you just set it up against this wall. Um, but one of the best places to put it is if you have a fairly decent sized TV, put it on top of here. Make sure you don't knock it off, but um, that way both roommates can see it no matter where they are in the room. Gotcha. Okay, well let me give uh, Griffin Esther a pan of the room. Let me give that to him. So there's our big study bureau. Right there. There's one bed. Were we able to find um, Were we able to find one of the rooms that had the uh, the kind of slightly different? Uh, yeah, there thing? I saw a couple on the other side. Okay, let's go ahead and go check one out if you don't mind leading us down there. Yeah, the air chase. That's what we want to show off. Because we want you to know exactly what you're getting. This also gives us a good view to finish off on. Right. So the other nice thing about HOTS is it has a, uh, a trash chute. So rather than have to take your trash all the way downstairs, put it in the dumpster. Yes. Can... Right here. Okay. Perfect. Here we are. You can actually just drop it down the trash chute and it'll go ahead and it'll be good to go. Okay. This is an RA room. This is an RA room. So okay. It's single. Uh huh. Right. But it shows off what this is like. Mm -hmm. So this is just a single, but you can see how that how the wall works that way in this one. And we had one that had a, a built-in right. wall as well. Um, my freshman year, it really wasn't that bad to work around. It actually fit perfectly with the bed and the desk, and so um, we never encountered any problems with it. Um, Grant asks, do most students bring a fridge and microwave, or is it not necessary? I'd say if you know, if you want to have some snacks and stuff like that, it's handy to have. One of the services we have at the university is you can actually rent a combination of mini fridge and microwave um, for $89 for the year, I believe is the rate. And what they'll do is the RAs will come in before you, they'll put your stuff into the room, and then at the end of it, you just leave that there and you'll be done with it. You can find that link on movein.uart.edu, and then there's a page called What to Bring, and about halfway down there you'll see the link to renting those things. Let's finish off with a great view out here. Beautiful. So you can see literally the entire campus from these from this side of Hots. That's Old Main right there. And there is the stadium. Beautiful. All right. Well, let's go ahead and finish up and uh, tell everybody. I guess we're. We're super excited that you're coming. Welcome. This was my favorite place on campus. I always say home away from home, but some of my best memories are from Hans, and it was an absolute amazing time. Very good, very good. Any uh, final words from Honors College? Uh, we look forward to having everyone here. If you are on campus, I encourage you to visit us at our home, Gearhart Hall. So this is where the students hang out. The staff of the Honors College, we hang out on Gearhart Hall, where we have student lounges and private study rooms where you can check out those areas. Fantastic. Uh, one final question. Is the bus stop close to HOTS? It's perfect. So really one of the major uh, bus routes that you're going to take is the yellow route, and it runs right out to the, the uh, parking lot we didn't see. It's right on the other side of that. So it's perfect spot for everything you can need. We came in through the south entrance, but you're talking about the north entrance, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Well, great. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us for the live tour. Um, we'll try to follow up with some of those questions in the thread as we go. And uh, you can wave us out. Thank you, guys.